let's be real here. It's pretty hard to navigate the crypto waters without encountering new trends and buzzwords on a regular basis. One of the most recent ones you may have heard of is yield farming, a reward-based system that has taken the decentralized finance industry by storm. Before we go any further, keep in mind that we don't claim to be financial gurus when it comes to your hard-earned cash. So at the end of the day, what you do with the knowledge we present in our videos is totally up to you. With that being said, the trend of yield farming has either seen new investors get completely wrecked or tech-savvy capitalists make their fortunes and is perhaps one of the primary reasons why people are lured to the DeFi sector. No, not for their losses, but for the gains. In this video, we'll discuss what yield farming is, how it works, and why you would want to learn more about it. So what exactly is yield farming and what does it imply for the cryptocurrency world? Let's get straight into it. If you're considering getting into yield farming, we'll share a rundown of how it works, who's eligible to claim rewards from it, and what the future holds for this method of lending and borrowing. The idea of yield farming, like most things linked to blockchain and cryptocurrencies, might be overwhelming at first, but fear not, we'll go over everything you need to know today. Starting with, what is yield farming? At its most basic level, yield farming is a method for allowing your cryptocurrency users to lock up their assets in exchange for rewards. It's a system that allows you to earn fixed or variable interest by investing cryptocurrency in a DeFi market. Let's suppose that someone encourages you to deposit rupees and dollars with them in exchange for thousands of small coins every few minutes as a reward. At first, you'll ask yourself how these little coins will benefit you when they have no value. At first, they may not have a significant value, but if they are accepted as a genuine payment method later on in the future, it'll provide a use case for those small coins, which may make you very, very rich. The same thing happened with Ethereum when it first came out. It was nothing but a small coin, but it grew in popularity with time and has now become the standard for yield farming. But of course, don't gamble your money on every new cryptocurrency you see pop up. Do your research first and then look at the future prospects. Yield farming is usually done on Ethereum with ERC-20 tokens, and the incentives are also ERC-20 tokens. While this may change in the future, the Ethereum ecosystem now handles practically all of the yield farming transactions. How does yield farming work? You're basically adding funds to a liquidity pool, which is effectively a smart contract that contains money. What do these pools do? These pools provide the foundation for a marketplace where users may trade, borrow, and lend tokens. After you've added your cash to a liquidity pool, congratulations, you've officially become a liquidity provider. It's as simple as that. After you've made an entry into a liquidity pool of your choice, you are then compensated with fees produced by the DeFi technology in exchange for locking up your cash in the pool. It's important to note that yield farming doesn't include things like investing in Ethereum. Yield farming is only the practice of lending out Ethereum on a decentralized non-custodial money market protocol like AVE and subsequently collecting a payment. This isn't some investment scheme. Think of it more like giving out a loan to someone in need, a very profitable loan. When lending is happening all around the liquidity pool, people frequently transfer their money between different protocols to gain greater payouts. You can even put back the reward tokens that you earn from the same pool. How cool is that? All of this may seem like a confusing process if you're just starting out, but people who have an understanding of the Ethereum network almost always shift their cash across several DeFi platforms to maximize their earnings. As with everything in life, it requires time and effort. The people that supply liquidity are paid according to the quantity of liquidity they supply. So those who gain large rewards have proportionally larger sums of money in the end. What makes yield farming special? To put it bluntly, the biggest benefit of yield farming is sweet, sweet profit. For example, if you come early enough to accept a new project, you may be able to produce token rewards that rapidly increase in value with time. You can then choose to either spend the money on things like that iPhone you always wanted or reinvest it back into the pool to have enough by the end to buy iPhones for your whole family. Yield farming generally offers more returns than a regular bank, so it's no wonder why they're so popular but there are still hazards associated with it as well. Interest rates are variable, making it difficult to forecast what your returns will be in the future. So at times you have to make a lucky guess about how much money you'll make. Additionally, because yield farming platforms are based on Ethereum, an enormous amount of money has been gained and lost over time with yield farming on the Ethereum network. The Ethereum platform is used by most, if not all, DeFi solutions, and the sudden rise in popularity demonstrates how much of the DeFi promised financial revolution is dependent on Ethereum, which is still a relatively new network. If you think yield farming is still irrelevant, think again, because it has become essential, given its ability to assist projects by obtaining early funding, 
and it's also beneficial to both lenders and borrowers. It simplifies the process of taking out loans for everyone. Can you imagine taking a loan from a bank in this overly inflated economy? It's practically impossible. No wonder people are opting for better solutions like yield farming. After all, who doesn't want to be rich, right? However, there's one important thing to note. The people who usually use this method of making enormous profits usually have a lot of money behind them. If you don't already have some money to spend, sadly, you're out of luck. But don't worry, there's still another way to make use of this, even if you don't already have some money lying around. You can start by opting for a loan and getting access to cryptocurrencies with extremely low interest rates, as low as 1% in most cases. Which bank these days offers that? Zero. Additionally, if you're borrowing, you can also easily deposit the money in a high interest account and make money off of it. Win-win. Even though the yield farming craze has subsided since its peak in the summer of 2020, there is always the prospect of generating a higher yield on assets than what is available in traditional banking. Yield farming is still being pursued by a variety of DeFi projects. One of the examples is Aave, a project that lets users lend and borrow a variety of cryptocurrencies and has now become the largest in terms of value locked under smart contracts. The reason why is that their interest rates are automatically modified according to the market conditions, and the tokens are lent instantly to start earning interest on them. Next is Yearn Finance, which aims to achieve the highest interest rates by moving cash between several lending and liquidity protocols, namely Compound, Aave, and DYDX. Its primary goal is to maximize token lending by discovering the most valuable lending services using an algorithm. Upon deposit, your funds are converted to Y tokens, which are rebalanced on a regular basis to optimize profit. If you're looking for a project that determines the optimal methods for making profits with the highest possible interest rate, you'll find Yearn Finance handy. When talking about the protocols that are used by the likes of Yearn Finance for surprisingly high interest rates, Compound is the first protocol that should be on your radar. It's essentially an algorithmic money market that users utilize to invest Ethereum and ERC20 assets in Compound's liquidity pool and receive compounding rewards. The Compound is also renowned for being one of the first platforms to use yield farming. I might have been the first to make it popular. The way this money works is by borrowing money which earns you a comp token as a reward. This is their native token used around the market. And the more comp tokens you borrow, the more comp tokens you get. It's a pretty good deal, honestly. If you have no prior expertise in the crypto realm, becoming engaged in yield farming might seem difficult. But don't worry, because projects like these are aiming to make the world of borrowing and lending more accessible and easy for everyone. So it's safe to say that you can kiss traditional lending methods goodbye in the future. Honestly, at the rate the crypto industry is going, it seems like banks will become completely obsolete in the future, and rightfully so. The length of this video does not allow for in-depth details, but the process essentially involves placing a deposit and then borrowing more money with it. It goes without saying that it's incredibly dangerous. As usual, never invest money that you can't afford to lose. Does yield farming have good future prospects? Despite all the advantages of DeFi that have already been described today, there are still some disadvantages to DeFi. In such a fast-paced, unpredictable environment, it's nearly impossible to predict the future. However, the common opinion is that the profitable bubble will eventually collapse. So it's best to be cautious. For the time being, yield farming remains a high-risk, high-reward technique that can only be worthwhile pursuing if you do proper research and risk assessments ahead of time before you end up making a mistake. What are your impressions of yield farming? Please tell us in the comments section below and check out some of our other videos on our YouTube channel to learn more about the crypto industry. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video and if you found it useful, please subscribe to our channel.